stupid. Like, ask me about my husband and Lee Daniels and Corinne Steffens and his exact words. Well, that's how we do it. I said, DL, how does that uplift our community? And again, I don't know what y'all trying to insinuate, but brother, what you doing? Like I said, that's just how we do it. So it is what it is. Now, it got so ugly that my attorney had to send a cease and desist. So it never aired. So we have like when Cat Williams talk and people truth tellers talk, we have recently on the phone. I say, hey, baby. Yeah. Huh? That's how he responds. Yeah. It's to everything we're saying. That's how that whole thing got started. OK. It's family. My husband is my family. Yeah. Now, you babies that are really good with this internet, through the years, I've watched DL speak ill of me. Through the years. I never knew me, I never knew DL Hughley had a problem with me. But when Cass said they all a group, he forgot to put DL Hughley in the group. Mm -hmm. Through the years, I was bitter. I was dangerous with what I was doing, saying that it was inequality. My husband didn't know what he was doing. This went on through the years. I was unloved, all of these things. And I said to my it's to everything we're saying. That's how that whole thing got started. Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a weight set. Um, and so Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy ass video with her and her daddy complaining about something. Or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much in gain weight unless every crunch you do has got captain in front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. And uh, uh, my co-host Jasmine Sanders played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she says she got off. She called me. Monique did. And she said I was very dismissive. Like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me. I heard her, her complaints, I listened to her, and I pulled the segment. So if I had been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. It it's also befuddles the shit out of me how somebody who has a comedian talks as much shit about everybody else as she does. She has the temerity to be offended about anything as much shit as you say about people. Then she encouraged everybody, uh, allegedly it stems from the fact that I used to always talk shit about her on video after video, and she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video and find them. Do that. Do exactly what she says. And you know what you're not going to find? You're not going to find any evidence of that because Monique is a fucking liar. She's lying about that. But what you will find is Monique talking shit about some uh, uh, alleged contract dispute we had. Look at the ticket. It says D.L. Hughley, then Monique. She knows the story. But what she did in response to that, she talked about my dog, my wife. This broad even brought out my daughter's personal trauma. My daughter was molested and Monique bought that shit out and, t and told the world that I allowed my daughter to be raped in front of me. The lying motherfucker. She knows she was lying. It's, it's also, and it only stopped when everybody from my family checked her. It's interesting. You know what else you won't see Monique doing? You won't ever see a, her with her family. Videos with her children or grandchildren. Because nobody fucks with me. How do you have sweet babies when your own babies don't fuck with you? How do, how do you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real? Except your daddy, who you apparently have to pay. And FYI, daughters are paid for by daddies. Not daddies who get paid by their daughters. You'll never, you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spends as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. It got the wor worst reviews of any Netflix special in history because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. You never see her being a human being. You never see her being sweet and warm to people except when she's, and it only stopped when everybody, when she's using it to butter somebody up to get something. There's a reason why everywhere she go, shit starts. Everywhere she goes. How is it that nobody fucks with you? Not even your family. How do you? Well, I was on the road getting it. I get it every goddamn week. Look at my schedule versus yours. See how much I'm going. And I still manage to have a relationship that I cherish with my children. Can you say the same? You can't. Because all you do is talk about your grievances and who did you wrong. 
There's a reason you're fought by yourself. There's a reason you got to pay a man to love you. It's sad. There's an old adage that says you can't buy love. It's a shame, Monique, that you probably always will have to. Which Ooh, man. They've they been feuding for a long time, yo. A long time. But, uh, hey, man, but shout out to Club Shay Shay, yo. He, he's, what he's doing right now, man, he's, he's changing the game with the interviews now. He's, he's, he's know how to, like, stir up, you know, drama in a way that we kind of like. But he, 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 like, he's, he know how to do it in there and everything. Because this year it started with Cat Williams. Now Monique's doing it. And shoot, I might see what, uh, what Shay Shay might do. Shoot, I might, I want to see. It might be some uh, people coming back that was on it before. They start spending drama on the show, which you know is really, really. Which, which this is kind of like we, we find entertainment, anyways, and which which is fine. And Club Club Shay and Club Shay Shay, the podcast, you know, he's changing the game in that, and he's getting a lot of reviews and everything. Which and also like how he interviews people too. It, it kind of gets like okay, you know. Learning how he interviews, like kind of teach me, okay, that what he does and everything. So I'm kind of learning for you know Shannon Sharp in ways. But yeah, man, you know, like I said, Kyle Shop Club Shay Shay, you know, he did um they got two hour interview with Monique, everything. And Monique, you know, she went off on people, but that that, that biggest thing was that feud with DL Hugley and, and Monique and everything, because they feel it for a long time. So yeah, man, Hakeem, man, what's your take, man, about the, the, the Monique on Club Shay Shay? What's your thoughts on what you if you've seen it? You know the clips and all the energy. What's your I, thoughts on it? I have watched the video and I was like, "This is the same thing she's been saying for years." And I tried to tell people this. Now I'm a little bit conflicted. There's some parts of it where I feel that, hey, just put in the work, and you'll see results. Because a lot of comedians and um, people go through stuff, so put in the work. But then there's this other factor where I say, oh, like, some of this stuff, she kind of is right. Like, you a woman, you overweight, and you're black, so I can only imagine what she goes through in the industry. Is she's being objectified? Is she's being disrespectful? I do think that what they said to her on their plane is very, uh, is very tasteless. Like, I wouldn't bring my husband in no gay romanticity or anything. I wouldn't allow nobody to speak negative about y'all on here. Orilla or Ashton or anybody or even Lord's by Protein in any kind of way. That would be very disrespectful. So that I, I agree with her on. But I do think that um, when it comes to her grievances about being disrespected and people speaking on her, I have no issue on that. I say, hey, I can believe a lot of that stuff. This is Hollywood. But as far as deserving a certain kind of money, I want, you know me, Jordan, you know I'm always going to go back to that Marcus Garvey Pan-African situation. Right. You know what I mean? So I say, if you if there's a problem, just build your own Netflix. Get on YouTube, do a special, release it on YouTube. You're famous enough to get a million views on YouTube. If Monique started a YouTube channel tomorrow and filmed her own special and filmed it all over the place, this. Cat William is one of the most highest paid um, comedians who we don't see in Hollywood. I see his stuff. get He gets booked all the time. He does 100 shows a year. He says yeah. she deserved the money. Prince, before you even said it. <laughs> no, no, you see, listen, I'm big yeah. on this. I'm big on this, and I want you to take this over. When they had that conversation about the whole money situation, they was trying to compare Dave Chappelle and other people. Dave Chappelle had did 1,500 shows. Netflix is going to cut a bag. Yep. Cat Williams, Cat Williams specials get streamed. I'm one of them who watches it regularly. I he's rewatch. Coming, he's, it. he's coming out with another one this year too on Netflix. No, another one. And you think they're not gonna give him 30, 40 million because they're gonna make a hundred million when they gave Andy Clooney and all these other girls um deals that was big. They were lit. So I'm speaking from that level. Like, hey, miss, that you can't demand 40 million. And you haven't done anything, and your name don't ring bells. 
Netflix ain't no different than a record label or anything. If you're lit, we're going to pay. If you're not, that's it. That's true. Um, I was listening to, um, since, you know, uh, after the um, interview came out, I was listening to a lot of people's um, um, uh, their opinions about it on YouTube and everything. And, you know, a lot, plenty of people. And, you know, and it got me to this point right here with Monique and everything. We know, we all know in Hollywood, you know, here in Hollywood, you know, if you're not box office, if you're not box office, you're not going to get paid as you are the box office. And um, and that's what you see, like, Monique is kind of com is complaining about it, even though she's very decorated. She's, a you know, comedian-wise. She won an Oscar, Golden Gloves and everything. She's decorated. Um, and um, the thing is, but the thing is, it's like, she might be box office and as a comedian role, but it comes to, like, box office on the movies. She's not like that. She's not box office like that. Um, Taraji P. Hampson, which we talked about her, you know, she's a decorated actress. Is she box office? No. I know somebody who's, who's, who's kind of box office, but she, not right now, but she used to be in the past. And a lot of people was getting on her because she wasn't having support for Taraji P. Hampson, P. Hampson. And that was Vivica A. Fox. Back in the nineties, she was in box office movies. Um, Independence Day with, with Will Smith. Um, the Batman movie that that was box office, you know. Um, a few movies like the Vivica A. she was in box office movies, and then when she was, when people was like, I think it was a press asked her questions about, you know, do you support Taraji P. Henson? She was like, you know, wherever she's going to, wherever she's going to, she's going to. That's cool. That's unfortunate for me, you know. I'm gonna keep on working, you know, keep my muscle, and get my back, and everything, because I think with Vivica A. Fox, she know how this Hollywood business works and everything. If you know, if you're not box office, you you're not gonna get paid at these box office people. So and and, th and that's how it is in Hollywood. You know, there's very few people who can achieve that box office type of um, um, man or woman. If you, if you hit that box office type of status, you, you're gonna get it and everything. You know, fortunately, it's not a lot of black women that I would like to see who's who's really really box office like that. Um, it's, it's only a very 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 few at least a very very few and everything but that's how hollywood is. that's how hollywood is uh going going with the um the, the few with the dl hugley dl hugley and you know the few with her monique and everything i just feel like they need to come to a truce because personally for me this fuse has gone way too long and everything and to me y'all it's y'all to me they're too old to be feeling like this this is personally for me and everything because they would be feeling for i think maybe 10 15 years now I mean, I remember one time it was so bad that uh, what DL was talking about when they was doing a show together, and you know, I hate as he said it was DL Hugo and Monique and everything. But the thing is, you know, Monique had a problem of DL Hugo being a headliner. But the thing is, it was really DL Hugo who was supporting the show, was putting money into the show and everything. And then she had she definitely had a problem with that. And my thing is, it's like. For two, two, for two comedians who's been in it, who, who's been in the game for almost thirty years now, you know, I should believe y'all should be sharing the wealth and everything. But I think, but the thing is, like, it's just so bad that how your know, Monique was talking about, her, you know, her his daughter and everything when the daughter was in the situation and everything, and when you talk about each other, like, hit personal shots about family, it's just it, it gets ugly. But I just wish you know they find a way to you know make a truce because, like I said. You know, the more y'all talk to me, they can make m m more money together than they are now and everything. But I don't think it's not gonna happen. But also, shout out to Monique. You know, she said she was um she went she went on a lot. She said she's gonna uh, be on tour with Cat Williams. You know, she saw behind her and Cat Williams. They like Siamese twins and everything. And uh, but 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 I think that tour is gonna be really very really well. Um, oh, also the situation she was talking about. You know with the uh, Oprah situation as well, you know, how, you know, I, back, back at the time when, um, I, I believe, was she, um, Oprah was a, like a producer of Oppressors, I believe? I, 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 I'm, not, I, I'm not sure though. I, I think yeah. that was a Lee Daniels situation. It, it was a Lee Daniels situation. It was it was Lee Daniels movies and everything, but I, mm -hmm. I was hearing like, what was behind the scene? I don't know if she was, she was behind the scenes somewhat. But, um, you know, and then, you know, 
after that situation, you know, when she went to Oscar and everything, she she really didn't get that full support from Oprah and everything. And she, you know, she felt blackballed from from um for Oprah. Um also with Tyler Perry, she, you know, she said that uh wrote that Tyler Perry kind of spread rumors that she's difficult to work with. Once once you say that, you know, a lot of people's not gonna work for you. And also the Lee Daniels situation, which you know, her and Lee Daniels, they have they they for uh, forgetting each other and they forget everything. And you know, and you know how Monique is still talking about that, how she's still talking about that, and then how so how Taraji B. Hessians, you know, she was talking about, you know, some open situation too and everything. It's it's a thing, it's a thing about these Hollywood situations, like you know, you know, if 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 you're not I'm just to go back to the box box office situation. If you're not box office, if you don't, you know, if you don't do numbers, you know, if you don't put, you know, put money in the box office like that, you know. You're not gonna get paid like the boss office if you have multiple glowing globes, multiple Oscars, and everything. If you don't make, if you don't hit box office, sorry, you don't get paid like the top G's. It's just like you know, you go work in a company and everything. You know, you have workers, you have managers, you have store managers, you have district managers, and then you have the top tier in the company. You know, and that's how it works like that. So it's it's just very simple, you know, with Monique and everything. You know, I mean, I love Monique. I really do love Monique. You know, you know, she's. I mean, she's a fighter and everything. I remember she she she, she uh, sued Netflix and everything, and and people thought she was crazy, but she got and then um she won a settlement a settlement for that too. So you know, shout out to Monique. You know, but sometimes I feel like Monique. She you know, this is sometimes she 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 uh complains a little bit too much. I feel like she she complained a little bit too much just for my taste and everything. You know, I think I think sometimes that you know when he, there's certain things she needs to be humble with and everything, but because because how far has she come, become and every, become everything as her as a comedian, at the actress and everything. You know, she did a lot of things that a lot, a lot of black women who who are not who won't you know achieve you know as an actor or the comedian and everything. So you know, I you know I really like Monique as a comedian and, and actress. You know, you know she's you know she's one of the greats as a comedian and everything. But you know, for me, you know, at her age and everything, I just feel like you know, show a little bit of humbleness at where you are right now because a lot of a lot of black women is not gonna get a snippet of where she's gonna be at. That's a fact, brother. You spoke so eloquently and you hit the point. I could just only add on to what you say, but I also want to. Um, he says not even a little bit. Uh, let's read what these um, titles are say. Yeah, go ahead. She said, Un unfortunately, she'll never be humble. Um, Cat Williams and Monique problems are self-inflicted. Um, let the black queen complain. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> See, I like that. said, those are your people. <laughs> she said, NJE, you have to tell them to settle down. <laughs> now, I got to I got to use I, I we have to use this as an example. When Tyree spoke the other day, I don't think a lot of people listen to it in its entirety from the context, which can gladly speak to this. When we speak about other races, other races talk bad about their own people, but not to this extent. Since we never had much, as soon as we get a little something, it's a problem. A lot of us come in this game feel that we're entitled, and that's the biggest issue, too. Monique feels that she's entitled. Just like you said, Jordan, her career has been beautiful. For God's sakes, how many other black actresses have gotten an Oscar, regardless of what the role has been? How many black actresses have fallen down to the waistline in California? Because let's be real about it. For a thousand black girls who come to California, only three make it. Yep. You barely, barely, barely. And how many of them end up in sex work? A lot. And sex if, if if they want to stay in California, it's a lot. Because they don't want to leave California. They don't want to leave. Okay, I'm gonna get even touchy now. Well, let's start even go to YouTube. There's a lot of guys on YouTube that other people are jealous of. 
I'm happy these brothers are making money. I want to learn from their template. I'm not hating on these brothers. Some right. of the stuff might not be. Some of the stuff is a little tasteless. We over here in the Chaos Culture Radio crew. We ain't doing that, but we respect them boys. We salute them. We say, hey, we see you. We trying to catch up with you, but we don't hate you. It's and hopefully, and them. hopefully they see us too. They and, and they do see us. They do see us and they love us. But let me tell you something. I wish Monique and Kat would approach the situation a little different compared to our other counterparts. And I know a lot of people don't like when I say this, but there's a lot of people in Hollywood who is very misunderrepresented. I don't see them complaining. You know how many Asian actors there is that don't get put on? And the few Asians that are up there, I don't see the us and other Asians that say, Jackie Chan and Jet Li was the only one who was getting money. No, them boys, the other new agents came in, they kept grinding, they kept doing, they paid homage. Jackie, Chan, Bruce, them boys yeah. set the way for us. I yeah. never heard them complain. Look nope. at the Mexicans. Very underrepresented in the movie industry. Very underrepresented. They don't complain. You have George Lopez, the other fat one, they the top two and maybe that girl here in Ugly Betty or whatever. You don't see nobody complaining. They supporting their Mexican sister. I see you. Throw me a leg up. Throw me a leg up. Which the Mexicans do? Us? Man, that nigga tripping. He ain't better than me. I sell more shows out to him. This is where Tyrese was coming from, from that sentiment. He didn't say he wanted to be Latino. He loved what the Latinos do and appreciate. Go on there and complain on Club Shay Shay. It ain't moving us no forward. It's setting us back 20 years. People forget to win is unity. To win is unity. Unity amongst Germans, Latinos, Arabs is, 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 is so beautiful that we can learn a lesson from. Instead of us complaining about who's winning and who's not winning. This was a question I want y'all to go on YouTube and somebody did a wonderful piece about why Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence didn't get together at the height of their careers. Eddie Murphy gave a great answer. He said that we never had this, so everybody trying to be the boss, so we all feel like somebody's going to take their shot. It's enough money for everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be the top dog in charge. If another podcast, like one of y'all, I won't ask him. To be bigger than me. I you, first, you see what first found first sound said? Yeah. Club Shay Shay. He said, um, he said, Club Shay Shay is causing more division than bringing people together. That's a hundred percent. Yeah. That's a hundred percent. Don't get me wrong, Cat Williams interview was funny, but it did ruffle some feathers, even for me, because I keep it real with you. We love Travis Smiley here. I don't know what everybody say. Travis Smiley from Alabama. But what he did in Miami, you would think he's from Miami as much as we love Travis Smiley here. That man is a man of God. That man lost his son. And when um, people was um, picking on him about crying, I say enough was enough. Cat has a right to speak on it i don't know if these guys spoke on him in the way i didn't i didn't hear they spoke with so much vitriol that cat was saying don't get me wrong a lot of people got an issue with people talking shit. the better to win the fight is to be quiet yeah that, that's true and that's true and the thing is it's like it's, it's it it is a big problem even though for instance like for the kings of comedy you know with steve harvey dl uh, Bernie Mac and uh, Cedric Entertainer. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know. You know, um, it was really a little bit of Steve Harvey and everything. Like, you know, there was some um, some hating between Steve Harvey and Bernie Mac. A lot of people don't know Steve Harvey was hating for Bernie Mac because Bernie Mac was the top G. He was the funniest when they went on a road. Like Bernie Mac brought the house down. 
And that's why Cat Williams was talking about that at the time too. So I just, I just feel like, you know, when a when a brother is doing doing stuff who's maybe has a little bit more talented at certain things, we hate uh, why do we hate for that for some reason? If that man's talented, he just been talented, he just better than me. There's nothing you can do about it. There is nothing you can do about it. If somebody's I'm up sports, music. Anything in the entertainment. If somebody's better, you just better. Just they're better than you. 